10 years after 9-11, uh, um, I think a somewhat different, um, and, and different in important ways, a different Al-Qaeda threat has, has emerged. Um, the immediate physical dangers posed by Al-Qaeda, I think, has diminished uh, considerably. Um, the July 2005 bombings in London were, in fact, the last successful uh, attack in the West to which Al-Qaeda could lay claim. Um, and the elimination, of course, of Osama bin Laden, which was a long overdue counterterrorism triumph, and the relentless dismantling of Al-Qaeda's senior leadership in their Pakistani uh, sanctuaries um, are, obvious, at least to me, obvious and powerful signs of the Al-Qaeda enterprise's darkening prospects. The terrorism that's been intended to generate a, a kind of a maelstrom of rebellion, like the propaganda of the deed practiced by anarchists in the 19th and 20th centuries, um, Che Guevara and his focalist strategy um, during the 1960s, it simply, it simply failed to arouse the uh, community of the faithful, the, the, the UMA. I think that's very important to recognize. Moreover, as, as other speakers have pointed out, Al-Qaeda has been decidedly irrelevant to the revolutionary moment, or moments now sweeping the heartland of the Muslim world. I think the events, the tragic events, the murderous rampage in Oslo and on uh, Utoya Island last July, I think remind, serve to remind us that, that, that terrorism can take a variety of forms, and that Islamist terrorism is certainly not its only significant manifestation. There's a danger, I think, that, that concern about international terrorism, and right-wing extremists, by the way, are, are international in their, in, their, in their scope. Many transatlantic ties and many ties among Anglophone um, right-wing extremists. Uh, that the, this, the Al-Qaeda threat continues to trump uh, concerns and attention to um, violent right-wing extremism in the US. And countering violent extremism, unfortunately, is almost completely synonymous, at least in the, in the sort of policy world, with, um, with countering Islamist extremism. Let me just give you one quick example. Um, a report issued by the Bipartisan Policy Center in Washington a month or two ago on preventing violent radicalization in the US said absolutely nothing <laughs> about the violent right. All the research, all their findings were directed toward Islamist uh, extremism. Homegrown terrorism it seems to me, homegrown being a very unfortunate phrase, but homegrown terrorism in the, United, in the US context can hardly be confined to, to Islamist uh, terrorism.